Yeah, 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 yeah. New Year's Wednesday. You already know how we getting it in. Um, shout out to Kodak Black. Busta Rhymes on that new joint. It's called Homage. Um, you know, it's good, man. Connecting uh, the young to the old, man. Anyway, we got Brother YG in the building, man. Thank you for pulling up. For sure, for sure. Uh, how you doing, man? For real, how's everything? Oh, wait. There you go. There you go. You want me? Okay. I'm solid, bro. Working in the studio, you know. Stand out the stand out the way. Sucker free. There you go. There you go. Where you tapping in from, man? LA? Yeah. I'm at right. the crib. Oh man, the joint's all white. Boy. In the valley with it. Looking huh? good out there. Looking good out there, YG. All right. Oh yeah, Mando, Mando. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> good shit. Oh, what's good up? Shit. Man, what we doing? You know, we, we we talking about you, man. We talking about the you know Naka. We talking about the new Naka. partnership, man. I wanted to talk about that first because I feel like that's a huge accomplishment um, for you to you know. It's a it's a growth thing, you know. Yeah. Um, coming from you know being signed doing business with Epic, um, now a partnership with BMG, you know, way bigger level. First of all, congratulations. Um, but the question I have is how did it come about? You know, what 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 sort of gave you the motivation to say, you know what, it's time for me to do me. Oh. Um, you know what I'm saying? I've been signed. Like I was signed to Desert for probably like 13 years and shit since I came in the game. Mm. And um, you know what I'm saying? I've just been in that system for a long time. And I was ready to um I was ready to do something new, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, after, like, having multiple conversations with a whole lot of people, motherfuckers was just like, bro, you've been, like, an indie artist, like, the whole time you've been at your label, really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so I kept getting that same, like, feedback from niggas. Niggas like, bro, you an indie label, basically. Like, you move like an indie artist. And I... What they mean by that is like, I make my own records. I got my own producers. Um, I create my own whole marketing shit. My whole creative concepts, like all my shit, it come from like me and my inner circle. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that the outsource or I use from the label was like, they radio team and the people to do DSPs and shit like that. And they money, of course. <laughs> um, so when I started just meeting other motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, who didn't work at labels, who had like indie situations going on, like who work records indie and do playlists in indie and all this shit. I'm just like, man, you know what? I'm finna go run these numbers up independent, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna bet on myself. And um, yeah, bro, that's what timing was. And I just said, fuck it, man. I'm finna go, I'm finna go do this deal and see how this shit is. You know what I'm saying? And if it's if it's everything they talking about, I'm probably gonna keep it like this, you know what I'm saying, for the rest of my career. So um, that's where I'm at right now with it. You know, like I I I like I made Dev Jam, a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? And my deal was fucked up. So, like, I left a lot of money on the table, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm on my ownership shit, owning the masters, and um, maximizing off of, you know what I'm saying, everything I supposed to, like, yeah, man. you heard? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I thought you was going to continue on. I was letting you go, you know, Get it all off your chest. Um, and I know that's like a historical issue in terms of business with labels, right? So, you know, they don't always give you the royalty you're supposed to get. They, they, all, they don't always, you know, they, they they spend in places that you, you know, you may not have approved and things of that nature. So I totally get it. Um, but with the label partnership, um, in addition to you, who else... Will you be releasing? Who else do I what? 
What other artists you got signed that you're going to be releasing under the new partnership? Oh, uh, so right now it's really just me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like going indie, going indie, like it's like a, a learning experience, you know what I'm saying, right now, you know what I'm saying, for the first record for the most part. So before I really come trying to push some new artists, I got to make sure, like, we fully know what we doing. And it's, 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 it's definitely going to be shit that's like, all right, we could have did this better or we should have did this on the next, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're going to do this on the next run. So, like, I'm finna go through that first before I come trying to push some artists with an independent label. You know? Yeah, yeah. Big facts. So, to test the waters, make sure you got it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then move forward from there. So that's what's up. All right, well, let's talk about Naka, man, because I, I like the record. It's a it's a big joint. Uh, you know, it. tell us about that record. How'd it come together? Oh, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like I was in Australia, like top of the year, like January, and I did like a little tour and shit out there. And I told my uh, my boy be more. I'm like, every off day, I I gotta be in the studio because. You know, like we working on a project. So, boom, we got in the studio. You know what I'm saying? The vibes going on. And my my DJ, DJ Vision, he like, he just started making beats recently. You know what I'm saying? So he, he, he pulled up to the studio. He like, hey, bro, I've been having this beat. Like, I ain't paid for you yet because I've been waiting on the perfect time. And I think this is the perfect time. And I'm like, bro, you sound like a weirdo. Just play the beat. Like, you should have been playing me the beat, nigga. <laughs> so he played a beat. I'm like, oh, shit. I said, okay. I said, okay, okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, this is the perfect time. So I'm playing a beat. I start mumbling some little shit, like a little melody. And then I'm like, yeah, I got to go take this back to the hotel and write this shit like tomorrow. So I'm like, like, I really got to sit down and just write this shit. Right, so boom, I got the melody going. And like, you know what I'm saying? He heard it, he like, oh, that shit sound fire. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do this, just I'm gonna focus on this joint, right? So boom, we turn on some other beats and shit. I start doing, I do like two songs and shit. And then it's vibes going on in the studio. Like the homies got it lit up in there. So I'm like, okay, it's vibe. So then I'm like, hey, matter of fact, hey, put that beat back on, man, fuck that shit. I'm finna do this shit right now. So, you know what I'm saying? They put the beat back on, and I um I listened to that melody I had. I voice recorded and shit in my iPhone. So I put that melody back up, and then I was just going. I was just gassing, bro. It took me like an hour, probably, probably 45 minutes, you know what I'm saying, write the whole song. And um, yeah, we recorded it, and then I had a show the next day. And we start playing it after shows and shit. Like and when I walk off stage, we playing that record, and it was sounding crazy. Like it was sounding big. And then we had some after parties. We go to the after parties. We play the shit, and everybody like, man, what the fuck is this? When this shit come out, this shit sound crazy. So you know what I'm saying? We had the conversations among the team. We like, hey man, this is probably the first one. This shit sound like YG back. And um. We got back to LA, started planning for motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I played it for mustard. I played it for my, I played it for everybody. Um, and like everybody was on the same time. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? It sounded like that one. Why'd you back? So yeah, bro, that's the story behind the record. Dope, dope. I like the organic, uh, you know, way it came together, and uh, you know, you teased it for everybody. For those who haven't heard it, uh, the record is called Knocker. I'm actually gonna play the video. That way I could like really share some uh, some flavor with y'all and we're gonna get it in just like this. Word up, let's get into it. Oh, oh. 
This shit is a knocker, a bopper, a knocker like choppers. The boppers, they love me, they show up, get topper. The bitches, the benzos, the reason I got her. The cha cha, we slid. The reason we got you, the hoppers, the coppers. Get no love, get out of the blocker. Get hotter and hotter and hotter. It's in me, so they envy. Try reaching for the watcher. The glocker, go blocker, go blocker and blocker. I do this, it's not a, I hit your baby mama. Suck on them titties like a baby, give me papa. I'm fucking on the Iggy, was fucking on the Lala. My new bitch, give me throw. I call her Lady Gaga, my roster. Don't let me get messy like. Like pasta, the movies I made them with bitches, the Oscars, the Gucci, the Louis, the Fendi, the Pradas, the Saint, the Ranas, and Budlins, Yakas, the money by plenty, the pennies, the dollars, the nickels, the dimes came straight from the bottoms, the bottoms, the bottoms, but the top is where they spot them, and when you on the top, all the bobbles that you got them, her daddy went home, now little daddy got her, slut out proper like Italy Chopper, got shotters on shotters on shotters on shotters, wipe a nigga nose like nigga clean that shit up, this shit is a knocker, a bopper, a knocker like choppers, the boppers, they love me, they show up, Get top of the bitches, the benzos, the reason I got her, the cha cha, we slid. The reason we got you, the hoppers, the coppers, get no love, get out of the blocker, get hotter and hotter and hotter. It's in me, so they envy, shot reaching for the watcher, the glocker, go blocker, go blocker and blocker. See, no singing, it's an opera, bank on Big Papa. I don't trust a soul, when she sleep, I gotta watch her. Hey, when you tie me, do it sloppy, what I tie her? If you a loyal bitch, I get you gifts, she, I got you. She tryna hit a nay nay, I'm tryna hit a ah ah. These hoes thirsty for a nigga, they need wah wah. Real pussy when you went inside. I feel like lava. Good morning, welcome to a check. I feel like ha ha. Getting cheese and shalatas. The Glock came with lobsters. Shell for you niggas. Shell fishing. Hit your block up. Wait, get your stock up. Cake, get your knot up. I heard bitch around the name. That's how you know it ain't about us. Let the wet mop up. Let them legs lock up. And a rich nigga matching with that good head. Gotcha. 400 said they stop us. But who gon' stop us? Stop us? Stop us? Who us? Not this shit us. is a knocker. A bopper. A knocker. Like choppers. The boppers. They love me. They show up. Get topper. The bitches. The benzos. The reason I got her. The cha cha. We slid. The reason. We got you, the hoppers, the coppers, get no love, get out of the blocker, get hotter and hotter and hotter. It's in me, so they envy, try reaching for the watcher, the glocker, go blocker, go blocker and blocker. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to figure out if that was some new weed or something. Um, what? Huh? In the end of the joint, I was like, I was trying to figure out when he was holding that joint up. If that was some new new weed, a new product, what what was that in the right? Oh, yeah, that's a new product. That's that's that shit right there. That's um, it's called Cherry Bomb. It's a it's a um, it's a new product. It's from my brand Four Hundred, but it's an all natural mel enhancement pill. It's all herbal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, yeah, you know I'm I saying you being a that. pussy all night. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it gotta be. It is even a pills or it's it's, it's something it's a go pill. pill. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Dope. all natural. It's 100% uh, herbal, vegan product. Like, it's like that. Dope, man. You know what Dope. I'm saying? You go check that shit out. 400.com backslash cherry mom. Now, that's what's up. I love um, the entrepreneurship, man. You know, I'm yeah. all about that. For real, for real. Um, What else you got that you selling, man? You know, you, I know you got the crazy <laughs> merch line. Yeah, I got the brand. Um, I got a new product launching next year and shit. I just launched the cherry bomb in February though, so I'm focused on that shit right now. And shit, I gotta build it out. You know what I'm saying? This whole year. Um, but like the music though is like the main focus. Like like getting the music back. Like you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of like talk about the West Coast and like ain't no emotion and all that. Like you know, so it's like niggas got niggas fucked up right now. So. Like we on that campaign, like, like getting the like motion back in the city, you know? Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm I'm like one of the last street niggas, you know what I'm saying? Who got that shit? Who make that shit out here to do it? So, you know what I'm saying? So I really got this shit up on my back. So I'm finna turn this shit up. Yeah, I feel like that record, right? Is it is? It's exactly what I saw in the video. It's a record that you build up from the streets organically is just going to click together from strip yeah. clubs, from just, you know, shout to LA. I, I used to hang out a lot of um, bike parties, you know, yep. it, it's that type of energy that the DJ can't even deny it. You know what I'm saying? Cause once it, it breaks through, they have to, it's a part of the culture of the city. Um, yeah, no, that shit definitely a part of the culture. Like it's already like, it's already moving like that. Like, like, like in the city, like, like everybody, like now nah, we, we standing on this one, like everybody, you know what I'm saying? So 
Yeah. Like about time Big T weekend come and then everybody come out here, like y'all gonna see the vibe, you know? And when they play that motherfucker. Smart, smart. Um, DJ Swerve, go ahead, my brother. YG, what's good? What's good? What's happening, though? How you doing? How you doing? Yo, definitely feeling the joint. It only took me like less than five seconds to, to know that was a bop. You know what I mean? I, I feel all your music, though. So I knew you was coming with something. And congratulations on your independence. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, y'all. Um, definitely, that's the way to go. You know what I'm saying? you um. Are you gonna have physical uh moving forward? Are you gonna have physical copies of your your music? Yeah, I'll probably do physicals, but it'll drop like after the album type shit. Like I'm not gonna have it like same like week of the album because um I gotta turn the album in super early and shit. And I'm not doing that with this. Um, but after the album drop, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I had like hard copies of um uh, and vinyl and shit, you know. Any special features you could probably uh, let us know you're gonna have on the project early? Um, <laughs> um, the features. I got a joint. Me, Lil Yachty, Babyface Ray. It's crazy. Right. Crazy, man. Crazy. I don't want to take too much of uh, everybody's time, but uh, salute to you, and I'm definitely feeling. I definitely. We're gonna have that in rotation in the radio or the radio. You know what I'm saying I work with Digi, so you know, we already got it in motion for the DJ to download. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, when you touch on I'm from the New York, so when you touch on this side, hopefully you do a listening party or event, you know what I'm saying? Let me and CL know, we'll definitely show out. Yeah, yeah. Hey. All right, peace. No doubt. And shout out to Swerve, he's also with the Fleet DJs, which is the national DJ network. Um, uh, so you know. Just making sure that uh you know y'all stay connected. Make sure the fleet yep. brothers and sisters are, are on the record as well. Uh, Malik, go ahead, my brother. Malik, you bounced. All right, cool. Israel, go ahead. Hold up, wait. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, what's up? Hello, YG. Um, I'm with WNSB Hot 91. So we know you've been in the industry for over two decades. And um, you just dropped Nakas, the video, about five days ago, over 300K views, and it's still going up. So what do you see in the industry right now that um, you're going to change or you're going to introduce with this new independent projects going forward? Oh, uh, shit. I mean... I'm going to just, like, what I'm finna do, like, my whole plan with this shit is, is, is you know, when you sign to a major label, um, they put these, like, these these little uh, terms in your deal to where you just, like, say if you sign for, like, four or five albums or two, three albums or whatever, they'll put it, it's like a clause in there, they'll put, like, you can't drop an album that count as an album within nine months or 12 months from the first album that you put out. You know what I'm saying? So you would be stuck. You can't really be like as consistent as, you know what I'm saying? The game is now like, you know, because of the, the term, you know what I'm saying? The clause in the contract. So that was one of the main reasons outside of the money I left on the table, me one want to go indie because I'm like, bro, like the world we living in now, it, like it's about consistency and keep dropping. You know what I'm saying? So like my situation, it got to be based off that. So like my new situation, I'm, I'm going to be able to drop multiple projects that count as an album. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of my deal. Like, and um, so I'm just going to be consistent as fuck, you know, like overly consistent quality music though um but consistency like you know and i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it you know what i'm saying with the independent label right right um yeah so like this is our radio station caters to like the hcu college student and we know naka that's like a song for like our uh vibe of people who listen to us so um we know like big bank that song went crazy uh Nicki minaj big sean um, 
two chains, all of them, do you have another hit like that? Or do you like look at like when you create music, be like, oh, I want to make a hit like that again, or like you just create? I do, I do it all, but I definitely got something that's gonna feel like from that world, like you know what I'm saying? I got I got some I got something that's on that type of vibe, like you know what I'm saying? I got something. Right. Okay, so you got us, you got us. Come on now, you know, I'm giving the people what they want. Like this right. project, Just Read Up, is about giving my 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 core fans like what they want. And that's that ratchet shit, like right. the ratchet the shit, the shit, the party shit, or the shit for the ladies. So, you know what I'm saying? But the whole project is that. Right. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Yep. Hey, Malik, where's our WNSB located? We're located in Norfolk, Virginia. So that's like the 757 Virginia Beach. Um, that's where we're Seven at. Cities. Seven oh, cities. Man. Oh, man, thanks thanks for that, for real. Uh, Brother Israel, go ahead. Yeah, first off, man, you went in on that motherfucker. That shit was hard. Um, but so I hear it when I hear the beat, I think about like a Mexican, like a like a be hard with like a Mexican artist. You thought about if it, if it was and not even a, just a hypothetical, if it was a Mexican artist that you was going to work with from the city or I, I mean, it ain't really nothing else but from the city, but from the city that you was going to fuck with on that, who would it be? And then I got a second question that was really on my mind because just thinking about they talking about you in the game for 20 years. And I remember when you when you first came out and I was I was still uh, living out that way. And I just remember all these different people passing and things like that, like Frog and just everybody, just so many different people. You ever think back on that? Like, you know, like you, like you lucky to be here or you ever, or you, or is it, or you, do you move a certain way or you just think you was blessed to, you know, stay, stay safe? I think about it all. I think I'm lucky. I'll be having survivor's guilt. Uh, uh, or whatever it's called. Uh, then no, it's called survivor's remorse or something like that. Survivor's remorse. Yeah, like I be feeling lucky, blessed, all that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't been in twenty years. You know, what I'm I've been in like since like like if you want to count two and Buddha, that's like 2010. So what, uh, like fourteen years? Um, going on two decade, two decades though for sure. But um. Um, yeah, like I definitely feel blessed, lucky, and guilty at the same time. Um, like I be feeling like them, like them, how, like, how I'm the one that like made it like this long or still living, like why, like, you know what I'm saying? That shit kind of fucked up and crazy to think, but I do, I do be thinking that, um, but yeah, though, I wake up every day and I'm, you know what I'm saying? We still here. I got the kids, you know what I'm saying? The family. So a nigga definitely blessed like a motherfucker. And, um, you know what I'm saying? That's why I got to turn this shit up because, like I said, I'm one of the last ones left. Like, like you know what I'm saying? They, like, made it out the streets with this shit and they embody this city, like, like, like in a real way. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? This shit is very intentional and personal on this run. Dig it. What what about that Mexican what about the Mexican artist? If it was gonna be a Mexican I, artist. Uh, uh, yeah, nah, I like I I don't even think I put a Mexican artist on that joint just because I already got the sample up in there and, and like I'm like I'm I'm on my ratchet YG shit. Like you know what I'm saying my fans was like bro like, we don't want you to, they, they talk like, they don't like when I, uh, <laughs> I keep doing like the, you know what I'm saying, the song with the Hispanic vibes going on. They like, bro, we get it, you did it. Like, you did it enough. Like, we want some ghetto party shit now. Like, so I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I, I, I fuck with the Hispanic in the culture and they love me and you know what I'm saying when you grow up out here like like we like right next door to each other in a lot of situations so like they culture is very familiar and it's like regular for us you know what I'm saying so like me and my music like it show that shit but um I'm strictly on ghetto ratchet shit like YG shit 
gang shit, street shit, R and B shit for the uh the ladies and that club shit. Oh, all right, cool. Uh, B tip in the mix. Yo, thanks, CL. Shout out to everybody here on Digiwax. YG, shouts out to you, man, the fam. Um, and shout out to you know the four hundred uh, four hundred ways you guys got going on, man. I attended the uh the one y'all did in Compton with Master P. Got to meet the whole family. Shout out to Miles with the with the uh, fire ass barbecue truck, man. But uh -oh. um, yeah, uh -oh. bro. That, yep. I, I checked her. I checked it out at the BET event when she had it up there, man. So y'all. That barbecue on point. Yeah, um, for sure. So um outside the music, man, what you do for fun, man. And um what three cities show you the most love when you go see the show when you know you see the audience who shows you the most love? What three cities? Um oh. what three cities show me the most love and what I do for fun. No, no, no. As far as when you perform it live, which three cities uh show you the most love when you perform it live? And the second question, what you do outside outside the music, what do you do for fun? I mean, the the three cities that show me the most love, I think, is uh is LA, the Bay, and Sydney, Australia. And then what I do for fun. Oh, I'll be in the gym. I mean, I don't do that shit for fun. That shit kind of therapeutic, though. But, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I like, like, I, I do a gang of shit, you know what I'm saying? I play Madden. I just create some shit, like, work. Like, I like working on on whatever I'm trying to build up and shit. So that shit be fun me sometimes. I like, um... Like I've been on my date night shit, like lately, like you know what I'm saying, like going out doing dinners and shit. Um, That's right. And, and real quick, y'all, hey, this be more, this be more from YG team. Shout out everybody um for hopping on. I got time for more, one more question, and then I gotta pull them. So, um, just want to give y'all heads up. All right, cool, um, cool. And real, real quick, YG, there's a uh, the first annual Compton International Film Festival going on in August. So you know they taking videos and everything. So I'll, I'll throw the info in the chat in a sec. But thanks for your time, y'all. All right, better love, bro. All right, so we're gonna go with, with Legend for the last question. And um, go ahead, do your thing, brother. What's going on, YG? This is Legend based out of uh, Columbus, Ohio. Um, I know you got a clothing brand. Um, you know, I wonder, you know, do y'all got any new launches coming out for like the summer collection? And um, you know, for this year in 2024, and also, is there any other business 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 ventures that you're working on uh, for 2024 or for next year for 2025? Um, with the clothing brand, for I don't really got no new collections and shit. I'm 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 going through like a rebuilding stage right now, so I'm not really dropping nothing like that. Um, but like I I mentioned earlier, um, I got a a new product. It's a metal enhancement pill. It's about it's about four hundred. It's called Cherry Bomb though. This is own brand, but it's by four hundred though. Um, and yeah, I'm focused on that right now. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm 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 really focused on that. You know, what I'm saying in the um like the market for that shit and the competition. Like as far as like I think like every celebrity and artist or whatever got a clothing brand. And an alcohol brand, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody, like, um, but like the um, like the competition in the in the in the the sex world industry for like male enhancement products, like as far as a celebrity, it ain't really too many motherfuckers that got no shit going on. Cameron, the only one that got a product, he got the pink horsepower and shit. I know about that, but outside of that. It ain't no male celebrity with no, you know what I'm saying, with no product. So I'm really focused on that shit because the market is wide open. And um, um, the product is fucking crazy. It's out this fucking night. Like, like y'all gotta try that shit. I'll try to get y'all some um type shit, but 
I'm locked in on that right now, you know? And then, like, next year, I'm going to launch a new product and build it up. Dope. Well, um, listen, man, I'll be first to tell you, uh, shout out to you for jumping on here and uh, supporting. And uh, everybody, listen, all we ask is for support, man. Um, let's play the single. Let's let's break the single this week. You know, put it in your yeah, mix. Support. Play it in the club. Uh, show love, man. Even post about it. Tag YG. It's yeah. all good to see Styles from Coalition DJs. He's yeah. already told me to check my email. Um, and listen, yo, YG, anything you need from us, you know, feel free. You got a home here. Yeah. Uh, we'll be out in California soon. Actually, we'll be in Las Vegas this weekend doing some things for that Usher joint. And um, at this other DJ conference, which uh, if you can't send them the record, I'll send it to them. But uh, shout out to Shadyville, who's out there. And, um, yo, congratulations, man. Shout out to you, 400 and BMG Connected. I think this is a new wave. Um, freedom, bigger bags. And, um, you know, keep on building out there, bro. Do your thing. You know, we got your back. I appreciate it, dog. Word. And wait, who's your manager? Who's the guy who's on? Be more. Be more. Yeah. Put your, put your information in the chat. That way, if we need to call you or text you for interviews or for drops, anything like that, you be the contact. I got you. Yeah, I just put my email up in there. I just put my number up in there, too. So um, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. But, yeah, man, feel free to hit me for anything. Again, good looking out for the um, continued support. Make sure, and, you uh, on, make sure you put it on uh, everybody so that we can everybody can see. Got it. Okay, I see what's going on. I, I got it. I got you right here. I'm about to put it for everyone right now. All right. Well, look, man. Y'all do your thing. Thank y'all again for tapping in. We're going to play a song just to keep the, the flow going. Uh, shout out to everybody who's still in the building. It's been an awesome day. Just 